Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minuteman, and today we're going to learn about adding and subtracting radical expressions. So if I was given this expression, 2 times the square root of 6 minus 2 times the square root of 24. Okay. Well, right now we cannot combine it as it is. They don't have the same square roots being uh, multiplied by a number in front. But square root of 24, I can, I, can, I can adapt that to be 6 times 4. So we have 2 times the square root of 6 minus 2 times, uh, well, um, or 4 times 6, let's do it that way, 4 times 6, okay? So the reason why I chose 4 times 6 is that I want to see if I can get the same square root here, the same square root of 6, because if they're the same, then we can combine them. Our rules of square roots and multiplication say I'm allowed to do this, square root of, uh, 2 square root of 6 minus 2, and then square root of 4 times square root of 6, all right? If they're multiplied on the inside, they can multiply it outside the square root, or just have separated square roots like that. And what that allows me to do is to simplify this. Well, square root of 4 I know is 2. So we have 2 times the square root of 6 minus 2 times 2 times the square root of 6. Well, 2 times 2 is just 4, so we have 2 square root of 6 minus 4 uh, square root of 6 there. And now that we have the same square root, we look to what's in front of the square root. We have 2 minus a 4. 2 minus 4 is just a negative 2. So we have negative 2 out there, and then we can combine it here and just have the square root of 6 to make it one part here. And so our final answer is just and negative 2 times the square root of 6. So let's recap. We're given 2 square root of 6 minus 2 square root of 24. So I wanted to see if I got these to be the same square root as the square root of 6 specifically. Well, <clears throat> it's 24 I know was 4 times 6, so I just broke it out like that. Then I can rewrite this to have two different square roots, square root of 4 times the square root of 6. So if I find square root of 4 to be 2, then I multiply 2 times 2 is 4. At this point, they both had a square root of 6 and just had a number out in front. Combine the numbers out in front, which was 2 minus 4, which is a negative 2 brought down the square root of 6 to again get me my final answer of negative 2 times the square root of 6.